What's going on guys, it's your boy Banco Boxing. Hey, if you made it to this video, if you like boxing analysis, boxing hot takes, boxing breakdowns, anything with the sport of boxing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But hey guys, I've been seeing on Twitter and social media, a lot of fans have been calling what Anthony Joshua did to Ruiz yesterday, running. And the goal of boxing is to hit and not get hit. Bottom line is Joshua was not running. Confused Ruiz with a lot of movement, gave him different looks, side to side. Ruiz cannot cut the ring off. I say it again. Ruiz cannot cut the crust off a piece of bread. All right? That's his fault. You know what I'm saying? If you want to slow that moving down, find a way to get in. Find a way to get inside. Make an ugly clinch. Jab to get inside. Cut the ring off. You don't follow a person around. You cut them off. Like when I play football, when you're trying to tackle somebody, you don't want to. It's like you want to run to where they're going. So you can stop the momentum and get there before them and hit them. But if you get there after them, you might just get trucked. So for all y'all to say AJ ran, no. He knew that he knew Ruiz couldn't cut the ring off. He kept him at bay. He used his jab to set up everything. His, he was jabbing, left hook. He would jab to the body. And that's pretty much it. The only chance Ruiz had was to clinch and try to hit in the clinch. And that didn't work too well. He was in there looking like, uh, what's that dude? Gabriel Iglesias, fluffy dude. He was in there looking like him. And he couldn't do anything about it. So you can't you can't say what AJ was doing was running. AJ did what he had to do to run. You got to think about it. AJ went down, I think, four times in that first fight. If you thought his game plan was going to be staying toe-to-toe -to -toe and just exchange with him, no. No way. Ruiz still has the quicker hands and exchanges and the shorter fighter they fight, he, it benefits him to fight in close range in that distance. Ruiz could not find his range the whole night either. Hey, listen. Man, AJ just, AJ pretty much just had his way in there. He did what he had to do. Hey, listen. And you got to think about it. This is his, I want to say this is like AJ's first fight fighting like that. So he'll get better fighting like that. I mean, that style. So that's another wrinkle that he'll be able to add. And he was leaner. What did you expect? He was leaner and lost a lot of that bulky muscle. And, and uh, Ruiz came in fatter. Talking about he ain't trained and this and that. I'm like, come on, man. Nobody want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. And let me tell you how I know it's Ruiz's fault. So, for you guys that watch boxing, go back and watch Adrian Broner versus Manny Pacquiao. Adrian Broner employed the same type of game plan that Floyd had versus Manny. If you see that AB used a lot of movement, and for the most part, Pacquiao could not cut the ring off. It was out of two rounds. But those two rounds was all he needed. The difference was that since AB is not, um, I don't think he's, he might be taller than Pacquiao, but a little bit, but he's not able to have that much of a height advantage over Pacquiao where he could just box and stay on the outside just like AJ did versus Ruiz. And Pacquiao has quick feet too. So he was able to finally cut the ring off and do something with Broner. Broner just don't throw a lot of punches. Having said all that, you see Ruiz... All he did the whole night was instead of, it's like a little skip or a gallop you can do to cut the ring off on somebody. He would just walk following him everywhere he moved. That's not going to cut the ring off. He was punching for air a lot. Even times when he thought he was going to hit AJ, AJ would hit him with a jab or a left hook. Ruiz would fire back, but AJ was already out of the way. And like I said on my live stream, I could not hear anything Ruiz Corner was saying in there to him about making adjustments. But it doesn't seem like they told him to make the necessary adjustments. He didn't have any sense of urgency in there to make Joshua slow down. He couldn't get to Joshua on the inside. He couldn't get to his body and slow him down a couple of times. But other than that, it was hopeless for him. So, nah, AJ didn't run because y'all just want to see, you know, somebody go rock him, sock him, robots. It wouldn't have been wise for him to go in there and stand toe to toe, you know what I'm saying, and lose. He said, you know what, I'm going to give you a different wrinkle. Let's see if you can do something with this fat boy. And in a way, he didn't go to his body a, a whole lot. But in a way, that's testing his cardio. That's testing his uh, athletic ability. That's that's testing Ruiz to see what he's going to do. He was never that tall anyway. Never that tall. So I don't understand why he came. He was always so heavy. He's not like Jarrell. I think Jarrell, Jarrell Miller, I'm sorry, guys, is 6'2 or 6'3. And he's a little bit more athletic than Ruiz. Where Ruiz has good like boxing fundamentals, 
but he doesn't have good fundamentals when it comes to cutting the ring off. And if you notice, a lot of Mexicans don't know how to fight somebody with movement. And the key word, think about it, Canelo will probably go, I'm going to say the same thing, he's, he's, he's probably like the only exception to the rule, but he doesn't like to fight uh, the Andrades or the, or the Charlos and stuff like that, black fighters like that, that can move and stuff like that because they give him issues. You saw Ruiz. He can't handle it. Even if you go to when uh, Canelo fought Miguel Cotto, he had somewhat of an issue with Cotto. But I got I segued into something else. Bottom line is AJ didn't run. He did what he had to do to secure the win. Ruiz didn't show up. He just was happy being there, and you saw it on his face. He's talking about a trilogy. Nobody want to see a trilogy. And that's pretty much how I feel. If y'all feel the same way, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this on your social media. It's Banco Boxing. I'm out.